we just left mommy house and we packed up both cars the other cars right here me and christian are in hadi and we're in front of the building and i'm getting ready to go take my interview to work at amazon Yo, our bank account is literally at zero. Mommy just woke up to our sleep screaming about not picking up Zion, um, taking Zion to school. Even though I thought he, she was taking him. And ate the whole thing and told us to get the fuck out of her house for like the fifth time. And I, I'm finally done. Packed up all our stuff. Let's go in the car. We're gonna try to go back later on in the week with a U-Haul and just get all the furniture from the house and put it in the storage unit. And take it day by day. And it's crazy because I literally told mommy like two days ago how I was gonna stay at her house for a year. But I can't keep doing this. I can't keep having people disrespect me, treat me like shit, and then expect me to be okay when they give me their tearful cry as an apology. I'm 24 years old now. Christian is 23. We gave too much to everybody else. We gave too much to everybody else but ourselves financially time wise energy wise we pour into other people and we get nothing back we came to PA about six months ago in January yeah just about six months ago we came to PA with no money in our pocket off of a promise that my mom was going to be a music star in Atlanta and we were gonna stay at her house and you know take care of the kids she was gonna pay me for the daycare you know Christian was supposed to be trucking and now we're six months later my mom told me to get the fuck out even though now she's crying for me to come back but six months later and we still have nothing we still have no money saved zero dollars in our bank account and honestly, sometimes you have to be so dramatic because it's easy for you to just say, oh, it's family. I know they're crazy. I know, you know, they're going to say sorry later. I know that this is just how they are. Sometimes you have to take yourself out of other people's insanity because you sitting there waiting for them sitting there at time at a time at the again as they just tear you down give you venom from their words and you sit there time again thinking they're gonna change over and over and over again expecting different results that's the definition of insanity you're going crazy for convenience I'd rather be in my car I'd rather sleep in my car and build the stuff that I need to build. Make Christian build the stuff he needs to build. And continue to build somebody else. Who will constantly, even though I pay rent, even though I pay bills, even though I take care of my siblings when you're not around. Will constantly tell me get the fuck out the house because you know I'm in a hard spot because you know I'm at a disadvantage but I am strong Christian is strong and we don't need a house to feel at home because we are each other's home. 
We don't tell each other to get out. We don't tell you how to get the fuck out. We don't call each other names. We don't hate each other. We love each other. And we are each other's home. So I'm not... We're not homeless. We're not homeless. Because we actually... We've been homeless for such a long time. I feel like this is the first time... In years... Where I don't feel homeless. (laughs) I'm going to pull myself together. Christian is already good. He's he's mad a lot. I'm gonna pull myself together and get my head right so we can get to the next step. I promise you we're not going into 2023 without our own place. I promise you we're not leaving the summer without having our own place. Sometimes it just takes something extreme like this for you to be on your last straw for you to say fuck it and I'm out and it's going to be okay (laughs) it's going to be more than okay because you will be blessed love will come your way fortune will be be bestowed to you I just need to get rid of everybody else that's influencing the the stuff that's going on in my life. I have never once been totally on my own. But every time I give into family, I'm always left like this. Getting ready to apologize. Getting ready to go back and just be quiet just for the sake of having a roof over my head. Until the next time somebody decides that they have a problem with whatever is going on or they're mad about what's going on in their life. And they have nobody to put their frustration on except for me. I'm done being people's punching bags. I love my family, but I'm not going to sit here and feel unwanted and then be used like a slave. No more taking from me. No more.